Real estate in a downturn market. All right, so we are turning down in our market right now as we speak, the beginning quarter of 2023. Yes. So how do you navigate a downturning market? What do you do? How do we navigate? So first thing to do is sit around and wait. Twiddle your thumbs, do nothing and wait. Now, a lot of people do that and they're waiting for what? What are you waiting for exactly? You might be waiting yourself out of uh, a, a, a good position. So we do have a very low inventory right now. And that's what a lot of sellers are doing. They're waiting. They could get top dollar for their house still and get a great price, but where are they gonna go? And when they go, they're gonna give up a two and a half or 3% rate to a, for a double, triple that, and they're not willing to do it. And I don't necessarily blame you, but a lot of people do have to move. They have to. Now, if you don't have to move, the other thing you could do is consider doing some repairs, consider doing some upgrades. A lot of people, instead of selling or putting the house the way that they want the place that they had envisioned themselves moving. So they're turning their current home into their dream home. Some folks are literally just renting the place out and hanging on. You can hold on to the property, you can wait, you can repair the property, you can fix it up and make it to the way you wanted it, or you can look for opportunity. Now this is a very opportunistic market. And as with everything, especially on our real, in our real estate world, we just offer accordingly. If you can afford a certain house and this is the payment you can afford and you want the place, you should make the offer. Now, there are rates that you can get that are adjust. You can get a, a lower rate. You don't have to be stuck with the five and a half. There are buy downs you can get. You can ask the seller to pay for some of that. You can pay for, for some of yourselves. You can work with a really great mortgage broker, hint, hint, wink, wink, that actually sets the rates. Don't necessarily go to your, your local bank, no offense local banks, but our mortgage brokers, or a mortgage broker, it doesn't have to be ours, but it should, but our mortgage brokers can actually get a lower rate than you can get at your local citizen's bank. It's the truth, they get wholesale pricing, and when they own the company and they broker the deal, they're gonna get you the best deal possible. In a downturning market, tap into your equity. I'm not saying take the equity out of your house and refinance, because again, you'd have a higher rate, right? Tap into the equity now, get an equity line of credit and hold it. Don't get the equity loan because you actually have to borrow the money and take the money and start paying on it. Get a line of credit, have it there, have it there for a rainy day. So you can take advantage of a balancing market by reaching out to homeowners, reach out and let's strike a deal. Now they've got a very low interest rate, right? So why can't we have some seller financing involved? Hmm? Why can't we try to take over their payment? We need to get them where they're going because they need to get there. So why don't we all work together? Waiting the market out or waiting to pounce at the perfect time is when you know that the market has hit bottom, it's too late. And I don't think, and not a lot of people think either, that we're gonna have a crash. We are up 50% in some cases. We need to crash down 50% and then some to actually have a market crash, which probably won't happen. Um, if it does, it's gonna be a few years from now as we balance out for the next year, year and a half, and then as we come down in pricing there. So the best advice I could give is, as always, is offer accordingly, but keep your pulse on the market. Hit us up, you can email us, you can get on our mailing list, check out our website. We do provide market forecasts. We do provide literally real-time data as it's happening on a daily basis. We are in it every day. So send me an email and I'll be happy to answer your questions. Hope you found this helpful. I hope you found a captain to pilot your ship during these trying times. Look, we're all in this together. Let's work hard. Have a great day, everybody.